Hi guys, it's Wynn, your friendly neighborhood pelvic floor physical therapist. Back again, this time we're gonna talk about poop. Yay! Uh, so this is one of my favorite topics because I'm weird, uh, but I think it can tell you so much about your health and well-being and it's so important. So we're gonna talk a little bit about it today. Normal pooping is anywhere from every third day to three times a day. Yep, we have a reflex to poop every time we eat. So if you have kids, you are very familiar with that reflex. The more importantly than how often you're going is what it looks like. So here we've got our handy dandy poop scale. So on this scale, you want to be about a four. If you're up in here, you are constipated even if you're going every day. And if you're down in here, this is really irritating to your system and we really should get that under control. Other things to look out for are skinny poop. So if your poop comes out skinny like a pencil or a ribbon, that's usually a sign that there are some problems with the muscles, like they might be too tight. Uh, you also want to be looking for blood or mucus in your poop. That could be a problem. You also shouldn't have to strain. So you shouldn't have to really push or bear down to, to go to the bathroom. And along those lines, you shouldn't have hemorrhoids. So if you do, there might be a problem and you might need some help. And if you're checking out your poop, the color can tell you a lot. So if it's a weird color like white or green and you haven't eaten anything like, you know, cake with blue frosting, um, that can tell you that there are some problems with other systems in your body and are things you really should be talking to your doctor about. So one of the other important things produced in your gut is serotonin. So serotonin is one of your feel-good chemicals in your body. So if you're constipated or you have diarrhea, you're not producing serotonin like you should. And even emotionally, you are not going to feel as good as you should. So again, super important to be a good pooper. The other really important thing about, about pooping is that in your pelvis, there's not a lot of room. Right? So in here, you've got your bladder in front. Right behind that is your vagina with your uterus kind of sitting on top of your bladder. And then behind that is the rectum. So if you are full of poop, it's gonna put a lot of pressure on your bladder. So if you're having bladder issues like incontinence, if you're full of poop, it's gonna make it worse. So your poop also helps with your hormone levels. So your body gets rid of extra estrogen through your poop. So if your poop is just hanging out, if you're constipated, you actually reabsorb some of that estrogen and can get some symptoms like hot flashes, headaches, mood swings, fatigue, that sort of thing, because your uh, hormones are not balanced. Sometimes, Pooping problems are because of coordination problems with the muscles in your abdomen, so your pelvic floor muscles, your abs, your diaphragm, that sort of thing. So we can also work on some exercises to help get you more regular and feeling better. Okay, so that's the scoop on, on poop. Thanks for listening. If you have questions, please email me below or you can call our office at 358-8086 to set up an appointment. If you think you need therapy, you will probably need a prescription. Depends on your insurance, but most of them do. And most of the doctors in the area are familiar with me and what I do, and are usually very happy to write you a prescription to come in and see me. Have a great day.